Hey, Helen, nice how nice are you nice doing? To see you. <laughs> oh, how are you? Yeah, good, good. I've uh, I've done a long walk today. I'm about to uh, maybe go out on a little bike ride. And uh, yeah, I've walked the dog as well. I, you know, so uh, on a beautiful day, it helps with having a nice bit of weather uh, when we're all going through this hell that we are. Well, exactly. Well, this is my first Zoom interview with an 80s legend, so I'm very excited. I've got a new banner behind me, look, by Fast Graphics. Can you see that? I can see it. I can see it. They, they made my Nathan banner for me, but. Box. I can um, like it. Hi, Nathan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like my beautiful. little stereo. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. Love it. I had a microphone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't all expect the, anything less. Yeah, <laughs> all the gear, all the gear. Well, I've been so impressed, Nathan, by your kitchen um, gigs. You're such a superstar to do it. How's the reaction been? Yeah, I, I mean, I just thought, what, what can I do for everybody? We're, we're all in the same boat. Everyone's stuck at home. Uh, you know, we can watch as many Netflix things as we want, but we need some different things. And I just thought, oh, a bit of fun. And I put the first one out there and so many people kind of uh, dialed in. I thought, wow, the, the people really want this. So that kind of, you know, I kept it going. You know, so my Saturday night kitchen parties uh, have been, you know, quite regular. I think I've done five, maybe six. That's how long this thing's been going on. Yeah. Um, I, I did skip this Saturday. I needed a rest. <laughs> a haircut. But I'm you back a haircut. The following Saturday. So, you know, yeah. Is it a haircut? Have you had a haircut? I actually haven't. I'm, oh. I'm kidding. I don't need them, but Donna's got some clippers, but I daren't let her near it. So uh, I'm going to wait until, you know, my regular, regular person is available. I've done the kids and it's a bit of a disaster. The big one's a bit <laughs> upset. <laughs> is it not like a bit weird though, doing dancing in your kitchen and singing in your kitchen? Because one of the things that I think you're totally amazing at is when you've got a live audience, particularly like tons of drunken women all around you, hanging on to you. Is it not a bit weird just doing it in your kitchen? Yeah, because you're right. I, I kind of do need that. I need, uh, I need people there. And most of my gigs are, I need people quite close to do the show that I do, you know, the, the, my thing. Um, and so, yeah, I've had to go, wow. At first it was, it was quite stressful because I'm like, oh my God, I, I, I've got to worry about the technical things, but where's the contact? How do I do this? You know, performing to my phone as it were um so yeah it is weird and it does make me think oh please bring back those days when we could uh we could all bunch together and get sweaty and all that and it seems so far away now i mean how long till we get to be able to do that again it really feels like it could be quite a while what what is your view on that how long do you think it will be honestly i think it will be next year yeah i think yeah you know, the government allowing us to all get together like we used to in a very intimate way um, is almost like the last thing they want. Um, so I think it will be like, let's get a vaccine, let's get, you know, let's get a safe way to be able to be close again. And then, you know, it's a bit like, um, I've got a tour in France, potentially around November, December. Well, unless they work out a way we can all fly safely and land in a country and show our wristband that says you know i've been vaccinated and i'm i'm safe to be around i just don't know how things like that can happen so i feel like slowly but slowly most of the, the gigs i have in the diary this year are just going to be pushed into next year you know and slowly they are like some of the let's rocks are being announced now that they're going into next year so looking, looking just, back i've got my head around it i've got my head around it you, that's yeah, what's happening. yeah yeah yeah. Have, you, have you got enough other things to keep you busy then, apart from the, um, the Saturday <laughs> yeah, night Yeah, gar gardening, uh, cutting <laughs> the grass, walking the dog. Um, not and really. Surely... You know, I'm having, I've been painting fences. I've been uh, getting compost and loads of stuff. You know, <laughs> things like that. Like, you know, like everybody else, really, just finding odd jobs to do. Um, but the yeah, homeschooling. Is Donna doing the homeschooling or are you doing the homeschooling? He hates doing it with me. Thank <laughs> God. So Donna has to dance between her work at home between and doing his homeschooling. Um, it is a nightmare. 
it's really quite difficult. Tell me it about it. I'm a teacher and I'm still finding it hard with my two. So, you know, oh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> for, for the average parent, I can imagine it's really tricky. Um, yeah. Um, but no, I mean, yeah, I keep myself fit. I live in the heart of Lancashire. There is beautiful open country outside my front door. I've no excuse. I can go running. I can get on the bike. Um, so I'm keeping myself fit, you know, and it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. It's, you know, it's quite nice being with a family, but the novelty has worn off. I think we all want to uh, get back to a bit of like, give me something else. Normality. Yeah. I just want a <laughs> cappuccino. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One of the things I was going to ask you, actually, because you talked about keeping fit. Um, you're always like super fit, and knowing from experience, the amount of times I've like hugged you and things like that, you you know you are really fit. What have you been doing then, apart from running, cycling? Have you got home gym or? No, I've been doing um, some floor exercises and things, but mainly I go running, um, and then just do some press ups afterwards. Um, about four and a half, five miles every day or every other day. Cool. I'm about to go out on a really big bike ride after this. Um, so from three o'clock, I'm going to do about 30, 30 miles. Wow. On a round trip. I've got my dad's old racing bike and I've got it all up and, you know, all singing and dancing. And it's, uh, yes, I'm going to go out for a hard, hard cycle ride. Have you still got your six pack? No. <laughs> after that i have beers and i have cakes and you can't live like that anymore back in the day when i had you know a six-pack the sacrifices were like you know <laughs> you have to really stick to it um i can't I, I i can't do that now i need to enjoy i need to enjoy some food oh absolutely yeah. looking back then at last year because i saw you loads of times last year but the highlight for me um was going on the um throwback cruise for me that was like totally amazing I thought you were absolutely fantastic on it um what I thought was incredible and I mentioned it sort of earlier is the fact that you just let people come up and like grab hold of you and everything and people do and and it you know it's fantastic and um tell me about throwback then what would you say to anybody who's potentially watching this and has not been on one of these cruises hey look when we get the chance to do do it again it, it was really nice I mean we uh, me and my wife we really enjoyed it because you eat wonderful food um it's like i mean it's hard to compare but you go to butlins and you get fantastic acts um you know you get a really great schedule but there you get amazing you know you get great rooms great breakfast great dinners on this amazing boat uh, and it's just different it's just different so um you know it, it just feels like you're you're doing it all in such luxury um and yeah, I did all sorts of things. I did, I did three shows in, in, in one of the bar areas. I even did a bit of croupiering on a, a gambling table. Um, <laughs> you know, they do Q and A sessions. And then we did the boat, uh, the launch party, yeah. up, 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 you know, outside by the, uh, the pool area. It's just great fun. It's and, just uh, brilliant, wasn't it? Very Absolutely. different. And um, yeah, the feedback, from people that was like, oh my God, I'm doing this again. This is one of the best things I've ever, ever done. And, and so, yes, of course, we have all the Butlins and the Pontins and the 80s uh, outdoor festivals that's, you know, are normally there throughout the summer. But, the, the, you know, these throwback cruises is really quite novel and different. So, uh, they, yeah, they were very popular. And I, I, for one, would love to do one if asked again. <laughs> no, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, tell me a little bit about Butlins as well, because um, I was at Butlins last year when you were on stage and I got all excited and you managed to get a few people up on stage and you said, oh, this is the first time I've done this. And it was just, it was completely wild. I was like, this is totally surreal. I'm on stage with Nathan Moore and um, yeah. And everybody's in fancy dress. Do you remember yeah, look, that, by the way? Butlins, I've been doing Butlins for about 13, 14 years okay. now. Um, they've been doing the 80s weekenders. And uh, they're just great. They're just, they're just really good fun. And, uh, but normally they will not allow, the security will not allow anyone oh, to get okay. on stage. And for some reason, I, th I think, was it Skegness? Where were yeah, yeah, it? Skegness, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, Skegness. For some reason, the security that night were a bit like easygoing. So they let me invite people up, didn't <laughs> they? Crazy. And the stage was quite low and accessible. Yeah. So people were climbing up and I think we did an ABBA song together. Yeah, yeah it was really uh, good. Um, <laughs> So yeah, no, that, that, that's why I'm saying, oh, I haven't done this before because whenever I've 
invited people up the security come walking on and go no way get back and usher people off so uh it worked, yeah, it I, love really doing, yeah. I love doing things like that i love getting people involved and uh you know my i think my thing that i'm good at is it has to be quite intimate it has to be people with me there so i have to often get off the stage and move about and that's, I totally, that's what i do yeah so, uh, i totally totally agree with you at that and i think even like the let's rock vip you know it's made for you doing that in there and yeah yeah i must say that i i really enjoy that because i'm plonked in the middle of everybody on a stage which you can just step on um so everyone's around me 360 and uh yeah there's not many people that really do do that but i really enjoy being in that that sort of space and uh i saw you, you feel the connection with everybody and uh you know, I just think it's something I, I'm quite good at and uh, they, they love it. They love that they're, they're that close to me and, you know, can grab the mic and or I hand them the mic and they can sing along and it just or feels grab like... Other things, grab other things. No, no, no. We have... Oh, no, no. <laughs> there's a line. Stop that. No. <laughs> there's a lot of drunken women. There's a lot of drunken women. Um, now, tell me also, what do you think about all the fancy dress with the 80s stuff? Because I know a lot of artists don't like it, that, you know, they think it's sort of um, making it not as serious, not as professional. But what do you think about that? I don't have that sort of uh, problem or uh, issue with it. I mean, you know, if, if, if you are, if you come with a very serious head on and you, you end up doing a Butlins gig, you, then you, there's no point you being there. Because believe you me, that's they come on the Saturday night. They come in all kinds of, you know, uh, officer and a gentleman outfits and <laughs> Adamant and Madonna and Boy George. And, you know, I mean, that's the whole point of it all. They're there to have fun. So I don't they go there thinking, right, I'm going to do my, you know, my album tracks, you know, the best of the, yeah. uh, the Get Even Brother Beyond album. And you've got to give them hit after hit after yeah. hit. They just want to sing along and yeah. have a good time. And yeah. unless you embrace it, you shouldn't really be there. So I love it when they dress up and they put on crazy outfits, a bit like you. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. Actually, I'm interviewing Chesney next week and I'm doing that in the uh, full wig and everything. Do it. Great, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you, you know, there's, the, if, you, if you get uh, hung up on all oh, this, is not serious and credible. It's like, well, please go and retire, you know. Um, a couple more things then. If I ask you, what are you most looking forward to apart from a cappuccino when um, this lockdown's over? Um, well, my mother lives six miles from me and I haven't seen her for six weeks. Um, oh. So I'd like to just have a simple cappuccino with me mum. Get oh. me mum round in the back garden for the, you know, and do a barbecue. Just want to do that. Yeah. That, that, that's what I would love to be allowed to do. I would love to be allowed to go back to work, but. I'm afraid for me, I think, and entertainers and, you know, I don't think we're going to be allowed back for quite a while. It's yeah. really, uh, it's a shame really. And it's really, uh, I feel sorry for, for people that would be in my situation who perhaps live on their own because uh, financially it could be tough because I had the best year in front of me. I should have been working every weekend till Christmas. And now I'm, you could never have imagined it, but I have no work potentially for a whole year. That financially is quite hard. Okay. Uh, luckily, my you know my wife is you know she she works, and so we'll, we'll keep the wolf from the door. We'll be okay. But I imagine for other people, it could be horrendous. Absolutely. It could be you know, and there's not every, the government can't save everybody and and uh you know it isn't always exactly the help that you would like or need so uh okay. yeah i mean for me i'm fine just give me a simple cappuccino and my barbecue and i'll be happy and your mum i mean mum yeah. <laughs> okay i'd like to ask with 10 uh, i'd like to end sorry with 10 of your favorite things so just whatever comes into your head super quick 10 of your favorite things is that all right yeah so, sure um favorite food Strawberry jam. <laughs> really? Well, if you tell me, what, what would you take to a desert island without being <laughs> silly? I'd say just strawberry jam. Chocolate. I have it on scones. I have it on toast. It's the one thing in my life that I'm like, I couldn't do without that. I never would have expected that answer. Um, Favourite TV show? 
Oh, I'm going to go um, currently rather than ever, Money Heist. It's Spanish and it's got subtitles, but it's so fantastic. It's on okay. Netflix. Money okay, Heist. I'll check it out. Um, Favourite chocolate bar? I like the one, um, the Cadbury's one that has the soft centre. Um, like so the caramel centre. What is it caramel. called? Yeah, no, some yeah. Um, favorite gig you've ever done? Favorite gig is is the VIP at Let's Rock. Yeah. Um, and you know, God, there's could be Leeds, it could be Scotland. Yeah. Last year was incredible. Um, they're all great. So, but I I love the VIP at Let's Rock. Um, favorite place you've ever been? Um, the most beautiful place. I think is somewhere in Italy. Uh, we filmed The Harder I Try uh, all around Milan. So when I'm running through the, you know, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, city, the city was Milan. And uh, I, I remember seeing it locked down and that's where um, I think Bocelli sung in front of, of the cathedral yet there. And, you know, 31 years ago, I was running past it. Every shot I had to do five times. And, uh, but yeah, I, Milan's a lovely place. Um, favorite board game? <laughs> I don't like board games. You don't play them with your kid. <laughs> Scrabble, uh, uh, I don't know, Connect uh, Four. I, I, I hate them, but uh, oh, um, um, oh god, what's the one? Twister, I don't know, Tw Plunk. <laughs> uh, no, I'm always playing it. <laughs> um, favorite sport? Um, favorite sport, football. My team is Tottenham. Me and my dad are both Spurs fans. My dad goes every week. So, yeah, that's We're Arsenal team. fans here. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Big Arsenal fans. Um, favourite band? Of all time, favourite band. Oh, favourite band. Um, wham. Ah, good answer. <laughs> that is um, a band, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'll do, it'll do. Um, favourite drink? I just like um, Peronis. I just like beer. And finally, favourite song that you sing? It doesn't have to be one that, one of your ones. It can be a cover, but favourite song that you sing? Favourite song? Um, Out of your set list that you... Don't Stop Me Now, Queen. Ah, uh, yeah. The crowd just do that all together at the beginning and at the end. Oh, it's just magic, you know? Oh. And when you have a sea of people joined as one, it's... Beautiful. So yeah, oh. don't stop me now, Queen. Nathan, it has been like totally amazing talking to you. You know, I love you to bits. So thank you so much. Thank you to Donna for setting all this up because we were a bit Yeah, we're technically it. useless, aren't we? But, uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here from the lounge in, uh, you know, in my home in Lancashire and I'm about to go out on a bike ride. So lovely talking to you, Helen. Lots of love. And to you. And stay safe, Nathan. Bye. Stay safe. Lots of love, everyone, everyone out there. We will be back. We will be back. Yes.